Hey guys, today we're going to work with Affinity Publisher version 2. I'm going to use a desktop version, but this app is also available for iPad. While working with this software, you will be dealing with a lot of text. And it's really good to know multiple fonts to work with, so you can adjust the style, the look of the text based on the project of the publication you are working on. So today I'm going to show you some of my favorite fonts available for free from Google Fonts. All right, so here we are in my document. I get a 10 interesting fonts and create some sample pages for them. So you don't need to guess that this font will look good as the big block of text. I already test this out for you. I will also export this document as a PDF so you will be able to download the PDF from this video lesson and check it out whenever you need a refresh. So let's get started. Let's move to the first page. This first page is all about Open Sans. That's my basic font, the font I use if I wanna keep stuff simple, universal. Also, sometimes I don't know which font I'm going to use just yet. So I set up Open Sans first and work with the text, with the layout, and then I can modify the font later on. So that's a really simple open source free font that you can use for any project really. It's very universal. As you can see, it's more like a font family. So we can modify this one. We got everything from light, semi bold, regular, bold, and even extra bold. So that's a whole font family here for us to play with. And here you can see this font used as a 12 points font a standard text and below I also demonstrate the same font used as the negative text so the text is white and the background is darker than text so it's also really nice it's clear and universal font and very very similar to it it's oxygen as you can see it's rather similar and also very universal modern clean font and I also use it for the similar purpose and let's move to the next one this one is a bit a bit different as you can see straight away so for in this case i like to use this font for like headlines because it's so different take a look if you take this one and move it closer to this text in oxygen take a look there's no mistake that's different font and it's perfect to like show the headline and stuff like that so that's how i use fonts like that and this one is free as you can see, also it's whole font family. So we've got extra light, light, regular, medium, semi bold, and bold all included here. So, really, really useful fonts. I use it for like headlines. Next one is Carrier Prime. As you can see, this was quite strange fonts. How do you use font like that? <laughs> of course, you can use it for some kind of old school vintage design, but I use it when I need to show a blog of code in my publication. So I really like to use Carrier when I showing the code. The font looks very different from the regular one and I tend to give it a little bit of backdrop as well. It's also a really nice font when it's light white on the darker backdrop, even darker than this. Take a look. Really nice if you're using this as the negative font, white font on the darker backdrop. So I really use this font for showing like blog of code, HTML, JavaScript, something like that in the publication. It's perfect for that. For number five, as you can see this one, this one is really easy to read on paper. So it's perfect for project that you should, that they will be printed out. It's much easier to read a font like this than a font like Open Sans when it's on paper. That's the general rule. So if you got printed publications, try to use font more like Chrisman text, all right? So for the long blog of text, take a look. It's remind you of those long books you've been reading in school. <laughs> That's for a reason. That's a really nice font, really easy to read through paper while using this kind of font. Next font, font number six here, the flow font. That strange looking thing. We cannot even read through this text and that's the main purpose here. When you start the publication, the project, you don't have the text just yet. One way is to fill it with lorem ipsum, sample text. Another way is to use a flow font like this one. The flow font will turn all the text into just 
graphic lines like that so you will not focus on the text just yet you can work out your layout and stuff like that i also like to use it not only for affinity publisher but when i'm doing some kind of uh, interface ui design when you go into really like low fi low fidelity at first everything is gray you're just moving objects around and try to plan a really early stage of the project you can also use stuff like that to mark a block of text so this is unusual font a very very specific use just to make a filler text fake text just for a purpose of a design process all right so that's our font number six for number seven that's something that can mimic a uh, handwriting and i like this one there are many fonts like that right but i like this one because normally when you mimic like handwriting it looks good as the like short sentence headline but when you got longer text it's really hard to read but in case of this one architect's daughter i think even the longer text is still readable so that's why i like this font so that's something when you can use when you need a handwriting text next one chewy that's something similar but more kit like playful version of it all right so that's kind of the same thing just in two different versions and then we're moving to the last we got phone number nine very very interesting one I, I didn't find many use cases for this one just yet but i kind of just like the style and the look of it so i hope i'll have more chance to use it in the near future it's really interesting looking font that's why i keep it in my stash <laughs> waiting for the good opportunity to use it and the last one over here as you can see offside that's a very modern looking font very clear this like medical design ai all that stuff a very very nice looking font not that easy to read so we need to be careful with this one but still i like to put it on this list all right so i went through multiple hundreds of fonts through google fonts and pick those 10 fonts to show you today i also create this file here i'm going to export this as pdf after this tutorial so you can just grab the pdf if you want to see them in front of you i prepare you a block of text a negative block of text and also some variation of some fonts families that come with the bold and light version of the text all right so you can check it out in the pdf and decide which font you plan to use for your next project how you can get those fonts right do i have a pack with them or link the best way to get all of those fonts is to simply head to google fonts and type the name and it will just pop up so let's try to do that let's head to google fonts and try to download let's say offsite all right so here we are on google fonts from here you can just type the name of the font you like from the video like offside we use this was the font number 10 i mentioned type the name here the font will pop up you can open it up and from here you will be able to download the font for free all right here it is you can even use this text box to check how this will look with your text this is preview text as you can see here all right if you are happy with the font you can simply hit here download family it will download the zip file to your computer you need to unzip this and install it's a little bit different process whatever based on the operating system so it's a little bit different on mac windows and ipad so i hope you will be able to figure it out this way you can download free fonts from google fonts and in the future if you want to search for some interesting fonts you can just head to this website directly without typing any name of the font you can simply select a language let's say you need a latin letter so let's go with that and then you can sort by trending or most popular on the newest one so you can kind of search for interesting fonts yourself all right i hope this video was helpful if this is your first time here please consider subscribing to this youtube channel i post two tutorials like this every week and i hope i will see you in the next lesson bye